Well, today the Arkansas Department of Education held a meeting to hear from the community their thoughts on the community service hours required by the LEARNS Act. Channel 7's Ashley Lunningham was at that meeting and has more on the issue. Ashley? Lisa, while no one showed up today in person for this meeting, we did receive several written comments that were sent in. Some have big concerns they would like to address and others praising the new requirement. We will now take public comments regarding the DESE rule governing community service. The Arkansas Department of Education opened up for the first public meeting to hear comments or concerns on the new community service hours required to graduate. Beginning with the graduating class of 2026 through 27, students will have to complete 75 hours of community service to graduate. The hours are tiered each year with 15 hours required their ninth grade year and 20 hours for each year following. ADE opened up public comment back in March and several written suggestions were submitted. One comment suggested this requirement is discriminatory to students in a lower income household, going on to say that they themselves were in a similar boat in high school, having to work multiple jobs. Their concern is how these students will find the time to do this or the means to get there. Another comment from a parent had similar concerns, saying that where they live is in a smaller community and their child does not drive. Their concern was, will there be enough resources in their small community for their child to graduate and how will they get to their destination? On the other side, a comment was submitted that was completely on board, saying that they completed over 400 hours of community service in high school, leading them to choose their career they are in now. The comment goes on to say they developed skills that helped them throughout their life. These comments will be reviewed after the public comment window ends on April 24th. If changes are made and any changes are substantive, there will be a second public hearing. If not, it will go to the state board for approval. Now, during the meeting, we asked for additional comment for a sp from a sp spokesperson for the Arkansas Department of Education or if they would like to comment on any of the submissions that have been received so far. We were told they are not giving a response and are only listening for public comment at this time. On your side, I'm Ashley Lenningham. All right, thank you, Ashley. If the rules are approved through the board, they will go to the Arkansas Administrative Rules Subcommittee, then to the Arkansas Legislative Council for approval.